the great hair letting you out again. Oh, come, she's not that bad, Gita. I tell you what, I'm glad I married her, not Pauline Fowler. Well, she's a bit old for you, I'd have thought. <laughs> you should see the state of her. What's wrong with him? Well, well, his face, it's all. What's wrong with him? Well, you wait till you see him. They've had a right two and eight, I'm telling you. Oh, they said, did they? No, right, half a right. He tried to cover it up as if he'd fallen down or something. But Pauline wasn't having any of that. She said she didn't even. Don't believe it. <laughs> well, it's true. Do you know what it was over? Well, it wasn't over. He did the washing up, that's for sure. It's another woman. Arthur? Yeah, yeah, yeah old Arthur. Arthur. Well, he's not dead, you know. <laughs> Imagine being married to Pauline all these years. He'd go for anything that was vaguely female. Do you know something? Intuition. Pure intuition. Yeah, well, I hope your intuition's wrong. It upsets me the thought of Arthur with another woman. Yeah, it upsets me too. If he can have one, why can't How's Francine? Yeah, good. Yeah. Get some good bargains? Yeah. Looks like you got your mum as well. What's that problem? That doesn't worry me. Uh, you can uh, tell me to take a care of it. Yeah, well, that goes without saying. Well, look, we're just having a drink here. We're getting... No, no, no. No, no, no. You're just saying, away. All right, but uh, listen, you don't have to worry. I'll take a care of it, OK? Good. Because there are certain people around here that seem to have it in for us. Yeah, there's always people like that, isn't it? No, these are real stories. Well, things have already been said. Well, what about? You and that. What about me and that? I don't know. Cindy said Pat had heard something. What? Well, I don't know. I didn't ask. I mean, it sounded pretty nasty. What, Pat's been saying things about me? No, Pat is. This is something that was said to her. Why? Well, I don't know for certain, but um, I think I could hazard a guess. Well, go on then, hazard one. Well, he's not standing a million miles away. <laughs> King Dick. The very same. And you know this for certain? No, but Pat does. Sharon, could I have uh, a wine and a pint of lager, please? I, uh, I understand someone's been saying things about me, Captain. Oh, take no notice. You know what they're like round here. If they couldn't gossip, they get withdrawal symptoms. I want to know what was said done by you. Why? Curiosity. I can't remember. Who told you anyway? A friend. Oh, yeah, a friend who wants to stir it. It was Richard, wasn't it? What did he say? Like I say, I can't remember. You should get him back. Now, look, either you tell me I'll go with him and kick it out of him. He just... What? Said some silly schoolboy stuff. What stuff? He said Cathy was a slapper who liked a bit of rough and you and Grant had one brain cell between you. No, Phil, don't go down to his level. No, don't worry. Thank you. No. I don't want to walk off. I don't want to walk off. Right. It's all right. What are you saying about Gary? Nothing. You're a liar. I haven't said anything. That's funny. I heard you say things about me and all. I wouldn't say anything about her. Uh, yeah. This person was just hearing things, was she, eh? Yeah, she yes. was. Yes. I wouldn't blame me to a pearl. So I'm not going to teach her a lesson. Hold on. What's going on here? What's this all about, eh? Okay, Bob. Yeah, yeah. It's my part. Oh, I have to get involved. Let him go, eh? Let him go. Thanks. Get out. Come on, let's go. I've got to go to the beach. You have to. Yes, I have to. It's my livelihood. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking them all out, don't you? No. Here you are, you're laughing at me. I'm just telling you my joke. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough.